we've been homeless three times. How are we a focus when you haven't had a job in over 10 years, like in all seriousness, how are we a focus in your life when we've never been? Really? Yes. My relationship with my daughter Taylor right now is broken and in turmoil. Taylor's making me sound a lot worse than I really am. She's acting like a 20 year old who's being fed and throwing a temper tantrum. Taylor is not part of our family right now. That's Taylor's decision. I did not kick her out. She told me that she was going to attempt to get a temporary apartment with her boyfriend. I did not approve of the relationship. I do not think she should be having sex with her boyfriend. He's a loser. My husband committed suicide 14 years ago. I had no life insurance. As a single parent, I've made quite a few sacrifices to raise my kids by myself. I think that that's where a lot of it starts, is that suicide. I have devoted literally 14 years of everything that I've had to those kids. I've had some part-time jobs. We have moved around a lot. I've had different health issues. I was first diagnosed with MS. They thought was MS for a couple of years, and then it was migraines. I am taking my one tablet um, of metropolol for my blood pressure. I am in stage three kidney failure and have to take medicine to control my blood pressure. I take three to four pills a day, two blood pressure and one water pill. I've had it with being attacked by Taylor. That is why I separated from them. I do not want the toxic drama in my life. I'm not here to bring up everything in the past. I think it's ridiculous that we have to be here on the Dr. Phil Show to fix this. Well, Susan, thank you for being here. Thank you. Tell me why Taylor left the house, why she's not living there now with the other two children and with you. Um, it started in April when someone else had seen an Instagram post mm -hmm. that she had posted um, with her boyfriend that she wanted to, she could not wait to adult with him. Um, my concern is adulting would be that they're living, they are living in my house and doing things that they should not be, which mm -hmm. then in turn concerned me with my, young, with my younger two kids and I don't think that that is appropriate. As a parent, your house is a, is a safe zone with two younger children there. You don't want somebody bringing toxicity into the house for them well, to see bad role model. Yes, I don't think that it's appropriate if she would be staying with him in my house, having him in my house as an, in an adult type fashion. Okay. Had he ever spent the night in your house? No. Had he ever been in your house? No. Okay. Did you intend for him to come stay in your house? No. I would never let him in the house. Why not? The arguing, the yelling at the kids constantly, um, how it could be dirty sometimes. Do you guys yell and scream at each other? I have not spoken to her in a month. So well, before I, I, a month? Yes. Uh, do you have a combative relationship, the two of you? We did not up until that point. Is that true? No, that's not true. What is true? The fact, it, like the truth is, me and my mom, we've never gotten along. Never have, probably, I'm afraid, never will. Um, she's very controlling. If things don't go her way, she gets very upset. She gets angry. She'll start screaming and yelling. Um, I used to have to be nice to her just in order so I wouldn't get yelled at. Now, you say that Overall, this is a quote, you said, overall, as, as a single mother, I busted my butt to get these children to where they are today. I did everything I could and put my focus on them. Yes, that is true. And I understand you're a single mother because um, your husband took his own life very early in the children's lives. Correct. And I'm sorry for your loss, by the Thank way. Thank you. That's a terrible thing to have to go through. Do you think you ever got past that? Honestly, I did not up until about a year ago. Um, I have changed, I have healed. I never had the opportunity to heal from that because of the three kids. I literally, that was my main focus was <clears throat> the kids. We've been homeless three times. How are we a focus when you haven't had a job in over 10 years, like in all seriousness, how are we a focus in your life when we've never been? Really? Yes.